The heat is still emanating off Aaron Falzone, maybe the only guy in the greater Chicago area staying warm this week after his performance against Indiana. Aaron, I want to start by going all the way back to 2016 and your freshman year and that 20-point performance against Minnesota. Did you ever envision at that point that you'd have to basically wait three more years to have another Big Ten effort like that? I mean, probably not. I mean, thinking at that point in my career, I was playing pretty well as a freshman. I thought I was only going to go off from there, but unfortunately, I got hurt a couple of times, though. So we are, we're here today. You get hurt. You have to redshirt an entire year. Even this season, you're not 100% healthy going through the 2018 calendar year until we flip to 2019. I know Chris Collins asked you over and over again to be patient. How hard was it to do that? Uh... It was unbelievably hard. I mean, coming into this season, I was really excited to have a, to have a really good junior year and then unfortunately hurt my ankle, which I missed the uh, first 10 games for. And then coming back, I just I wanted to play so bad. And we already had rotation with the guys playing well. So it was, it was really hard to wait, but I knew I had to stay ready because so, a game like this was going to come. And when I got my chance, I was just excited to be out there. And obviously, Coach Collins was so appreciative. His post-game interview, he got emotional talking about what you have been through throughout your career. What did his reaction and the way he handled it mean to you? Yeah, I mean, it, it just shows how much he, how much he cared about he cared about me. And, he, and he, we had meetings of this, and he told me how, how bad he felt for me throughout the whole process. And also just seeing my teammates' reactions, how happy they were for me. After, after making shots and especially seeing after the game, even, even the crazy reactions in the locker room with them throwing water, I mean, them just rushing me, seeing how excited they were, which just really meant a lot to me. Uh, what's this journey been like when you join the program? It's an up and coming program. Then you get to that pinnacle, make the school's first ever NCAA tournament. And then a really surprising, disappointing year a year ago with basically that same core and now back on the build up. What's it been like for you as part of the program over the last four years? I mean, it's a really exciting time for our program, especially, I mean, my freshman year, we won 20 games. We were, we were on up and coming, and then the next season going into it, we kind of all had that, that special feeling that it was going to be a big year, and it was really tough for me that I had to sit out that year that we made the tournament, and then coming back again, thinking we're going to have an even better year and kind of a disappointment. We were, we were kind of at a really low point, but coming this season, I just really wanted to help our team get back to the point where we were winning again, and it took a little bit longer for me with the injury, but I, I'm glad to be doing it now. Aaron, with everything that you've been through, you can have the support of your teammates, you can have the support of your coaches, you need the support of your family. I know you have siblings that either mm -hmm. played or play yeah. varsity sports at major schools, yeah. and it sounds like you have a really close relationship, both father-son and basketball-wise, with your dad. How important has that family support been for you? I mean, it's, it's meant everything for me. I mean, they know more than anybody like how, how down I was at the beginning of this year when I got hurt, and... I, I called my dad and my mom every week, and we, we would just talk about things, and they would, they would tell me to keep my head up and just keep playing, and my time was coming. Even my brother, he plays professionally in England. He just, he just kept me motivated and said, they're going to need you at some point. And, and my sister talks to me all the time, so I, re I really love my family, and their support is, is something I can't really describe. Do you think at this point, after your performance this year, that people will stop mispronouncing your name, even though there's no E at the end, that it's Falzone you know, and not yeah. Falzon? I mean, no, I've, I've heard my name pronounced four or five different ways, Falzon, Falzon, but uh, wh whatever way, if they're saying it's fine, it's, it is what it is. Trust me, I get it all the time, too. All right, we're going to have some fun before we let you go. I'm going to bring you back to some highlights from the win over Indiana. And whenever we have guys here that we get to do interviews with who have a name uh -huh. that we could either use a catchphrase with or a nickname with, we like to get their approval or their disapproval and go back to the drawing board. So I'm going to ask you to look at the monitor that's in the room with you. We're going to play some highlights, and I'm going to throw out one of these catchphrases, nicknames, and when we're done, you tell me if you like it or not, all right? All right, I got you. All right, let's do it. Let's roll the highlight. This is Indiana Northwestern. Aaron Falzone just absolutely on fire from deep. There's one three, and give me a little bit more because I don't know about you, but I like my foul zone with ham and swish. Six three-pointers for foul zone in the game, a career-high 21. So there you go, my friend. Foul zone with ham and swish. Do I get a yay or a nay? That's definitely a new one. I mean, I get the classic cow zone all the time. So, I mean, just for creativity, I'll give you a yay for that one. Beautiful. You make sure that you and your teammates are watching the next time the Northwestern is playing because post-game reaction highlights will have 
Aaron Falzone with Ham and Swish. Good stuff, my man. Appreciate the time. Thanks for hanging out and having some fun with us. Thanks for having me.